Hey guys, uh, just got back off of a pretty long vacation. Uh, saw on my email where my local comic shop was having, uh, as best I can describe it, a come and get it sale where they were basically cutting prices on a whole bunch of stuff and just trying to get rid of some excess inventory and really didn't feel like going but uh, my wife kind of encouraged me to go and I'm glad I did. So. Here's what I got. Everything that I bought was the most I spent on any of these was two bucks. All right, uh, going through the dollar bins, found a Captain America number three and number five. Now I've temporarily boarded these just for this video, so they're going to be put in another, probably put up a little different way before I file them away. Also found Captain America number seven. Found a uh, copy of the uh, second What If series. What If Fantastic Four had lost Trial of the Lactus. Pretty cool story. Continuing on that theme, I uh, found a pretty recent book. It's What If Age of Ultron number four. I uh, may have to get the rest of these. Uh, Going through the dollar boxes, also found a Death of the New Gods miniseries number three, four, six, seven, and eight. This is pretty cool if you like Jim Starlin type stuff. It's uh, really good. Also found uh, Batman Gotham Knights number 49. Um, it says on the cover this is the end of Bane. Well, we all know that's not true. But uh, I think from reading this issue, this is the issue where he uh, converts and becomes a good guy. Uh, picked up uh, 52 Aftermath Four Horsemen number 4. Uh, picked up a couple of... Uh, Countdown issues, got countdown number 31, number 27, number 23, and I got number 6. If any of you have watched my previous videos, you know I'm a sucker for stuff that has to do with Commandy. This one uh, says the great disaster is upon us on the bottom. Uh, number five is a continuation of that story, so if you kind of want to take a read and see what uh, the writer of this particular series' his take on the Great Disaster is, I suggest you pick it up. Picked up Captain America for a buck. Number 188. Round number 280. Pick this one up because I've always been a control. Uh, Controller fan, uh, number 366. Number 448. And saw this one, and since it was the last issue of the original, well, not the original run, but the 60s run, picked up number 454. Uh, picked up a few more recent ones. This is number 606. Number 613, I believe. Yep, 613. Number 615. And number 639. Uh, also picked up, uh, I believe this is volume 3 of Captain America, maybe volume 4. Heck, I can't keep up. Marvel's changed it so many times. Number 5. This is uh, part of the Winter Soldier story. And number seven. Found those for a buck. Captain America number 20. Got number 28. Number 29. Number 32. Number 37. 
40. 41. And 47. Also located, uh, looking through the dollar boxes, found this. They didn't know this had even existed. This is from 1988. This is a Nick Fury versus Shield miniseries, and this is book four of six. Uh, I don't usually buy very many Spider-Man, but I just figured I would pick this one up because it's got one of my favorite villains in it. Uh, it's got Ultron, and this is Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 25. Um, can't remember if it was Howler Mouse or How Deep or who it was, but they had highly recommended this story and found it for a buck, so thought I'd pick it up. Uh, it's DC Comics Presents number 64, and Superman and Commandy. I uh, also picked up uh, this Avengers number 49. I picked it up because of the cover and because I like the villain Kane. And I would encourage you, if you can find this issue for cheap, it's a silent issue, and if you want to see just how evil Kane can, can be, you need to pick this one up. This one was really cool. Also found Uncanny X-Men number 400 for a buck. Just thought I'd pick it up because it was an anniversary issue and turned out to be pretty good. Found uh, a reprint. This is Marvel Superheroes number 61 with the Hulk and the Mandarin. Of course, this is a reprint of uh, one of the earlier issues of the Hulk, and I've always wanted to read it, but I didn't want to shell out the cash for the original issue, so I was fortunate to find this one. Also picked up Jonah Hex. Number 14, which means I now have a complete run of the first series of Jonah Hex. So that made me very happy. Been looking for this stupid issue for two years and couldn't find it cheap. Everybody wanted way too much money for it. So I was very fortunate to pick it up. I think I paid two bucks for it. Found Avengers number 127 for a buck. Avengers number 182 for a dollar. This one I paid two bucks for, but I think it was worth it. It's X-Men number 143. Pick this one up for a buck. 100 pager even if even if it does have a few dings and issues. It's any 100 pager is worth a dollar. So picked up Shazam number 13. Also found this one for a buck. Sergeant Fury number 47. 12 center. Found this one for a dollar, and uh, you can kind of see why. It's in pretty rough shape, but all I'm going to do is read it. So, Submariner number 24. Found these for a buck. Iron Man number 85. Number 105. And I used to have this one when I was a kid. Bought it off the newsstand and got traded away or something, but Finally got it back. Iron Man number 132 where he battles the Hulk. Alright. These. Now, these last ones that I picked up. Didn't spin, but, uh, well, anyway, these, this first, these first, these next ones I'm fixing to show I spent a dollar for, but, uh, as far as I can tell, got Astro City number one. For a dollar. As far as I can tell, this is the first appearance of these characters, but uh, some of you guys out there who know a little more about it than I do may disagree, but uh, I know it's the earliest series, so I picked that one up for a buck. And got Astro City number three. They had several other early issues of this same series, I think, in the boxes, but I didn't... Uh, I was trying. I was operating on kind of a limited budget, so I didn't want to, you know, spend a whole bunch of money. This last one that I got for two bucks, I was kind of surprised to find. Uh, I've seen it, uh, you know, uh, highlighted on some of some of the other uh, comic haul videos that I've seen, and was kind of curious if, you know, curious about it. So when I saw it, I had to pick it up. It's actually in pretty decent shape. It's creepy. Number 100. Um, 
I was real happy about what all I got, um, especially considering I was thinking about not even going, but I'm glad I did. So, anyway, just a little commentary before I sign off. Uh, most of what I buy, I don't buy, I don't spend a whole bunch of money on because I'm buying them to read them and to enjoy them. And you know what? You know, for those of you guys out there who, uh, you know, go and buy, you know, $15 books, $20 books, $50 books, $60 books, $2,000 books, you know, if you enjoy them, that's great. Uh, I enjoy the medium too. And I just don't choose to, you know, spend a whole bunch of money. I mean, I have spent as much as 60 bucks on a comic book, but if I do, it's usually something that, uh, you know, a key issue or something like that. But those of you out there who are thinking about posting videos because you don't spend a whole bunch of money and you don't think anybody's going to really care, don't hesitate. There are people like me out there who enjoy watching your videos and seeing these, you know, lower-priced issues that you pick up, uh, you know, we all should share. We all enjoy the medium. So, you know, whatever you pick up, share it on YouTube if you can. And uh, let the rest of us know so that when we're out there looking around, we can maybe pick those issues up too and enjoy them. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you know, subscribe or comment or, you know, or just uh, you know, whatever. It's fine. You know, I'm just, I'm making these not to gain a bunch of followers. I'm just... I'm just doing these just because I enjoy the medium and uh, enjoy sharing the low price cheapo books that I get. I reckon I'll see you guys next time.